Zechariah 9 verse 17 KJV For how great is his goodness, and how great is his beauty! Corn shall make the young men cheerful, and new wine the maids. In the KJV it reads, Corn shall make the young men cheerful. Meanwhile, in the new versions it says, Grain shall make the young men flourish or thrive. By looking at verse 15, you can see that it is the Lord that blesses them with plenty of food, not of their own labor, and is something for them to enjoy for themselves. It's the abundance offered from the Lord that makes young men cheerful. Zechariah 11 verse 17 KJV Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock, the sword shall it be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. In the KJV it reads, Woe to the idle shepherd. Meanwhile, in the new versions, it changes it to, Woe to my worthless shepherd, or to the worthless shepherd. To be an idle shepherd is to be seen as admired without teaching sound doctrine. This could be anything from your local hireling, i.e. pastor, to the Pope in Rome. Worthless shepherd is not specific and doesn't tell you what to look out for. Matthew 1 verse 25, KJV and knew her not till she had brought forth her firstborn son, and he called his name Jesus. In the KJV it reads, her firstborn son. Meanwhile, in the new versions, it just says, a son. Sorry, Catholics, Mary is not an immaculate virgin. Mary had other children than Jesus. Calling Jesus firstborn indicates as such where just a son doesn't. Mark 6 verse 3 reads, Is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, the brother of James and Joseph, and of Judah and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they were offended at him? Just another subtle attack on the word of God from these Catholic perversions. Matthew 4, verse 18, KJV, And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter, and Andrew his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. In the KJV it reads, Jesus, but in the new versions it reads, He. This is not the first nor the last time that Jesus' name gets swapped for a generic he. There is no justification for this within the manuscripts, as demonstrated in the book, Early Manuscripts, Church Fathers, and the Authorized Version by Jack Mormon. Matthew 5 verse 47 KJV and if ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the publicans so. In the KJV it reads, the publicans. But in the new versions it reads, the Gentiles. Publicans, also known as tax collectors, were seen as the lowest of the low by all people, while the same could not be said of the Gentiles. Matthew 6, verse 15, KJV. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. 
In the KJV, it reads trespasses, but in the new versions, it reads sins. Man cannot forgive sins. Only God can. Micah 7 verse 18 reads, Who is a God like unto thee, that pardoneth iniquity, and passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage? He retaineth not his anger forever, because he delighteth in mercy. If Jesus actually said this, the Pharisees would have ammunition on him. Matthew 8, verse 31, KJV. So the devils besought him, saying, If thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. In the KJV it reads, Suffer us. But in the new versions it reads, Send us. To suffer means to tolerate or allow someone to do something, and is more of a request. To say, send us, is a command, and the devils know better than to boss the Son of God around. Read James 2 verse 19. Matthew 12 verse 6, KJV. But I say unto you that in this place is one greater than the temple. In the KJV it reads, one. Meanwhile, in the new versions it reads, something. Something sounds like it could be alluding to either a object or something unspecific. That one that is in the temple is the Holy One of Israel the Lord manifest in the flesh. Matthew 17, verses 20 to 21, KJV. And Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, If ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. In the KJV it reads, Because of your unbelief. Meanwhile, in the new versions it reads, Because of your little faith. Jesus saw that they had no belief and said, If you had a little belief, you could move mountains. New versions say the disciples had little faith, but if they only had a little faith. That is a contradiction. Matthew 18, verse 3, KJV, And said, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. In the KJV it reads, Except ye be converted. Meanwhile, in the new versions it says, Unless you change. Converted shows that you went from unbelief to belief in repentance. In contrast, to change and become children sounds like serious de-aging, not as concise. If you want to see more differences, subscribe to this channel or go to Gumroad and download list. Also on Gumroad is a KJV vs. New tract along with other tracts and content you can download and print. All monetary contributions are appreciated. Thank you for watching this segment and hope this has been to your edification.